Hello, happy Homebrew Wednesday. I'm not upstairs, I'm in the garage, as if you hadn't realised by now. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different this week. I'm going to actually make something. This is not like me. I'm the kind of person who actively avoids any kind of DIY projects. I mean, I can do it, but I just really prefer not to because, you know, what it would take a normal person five minutes to do it would usually take me about an hour to do. And if I rushed it, it would just be wrong. So that's why I try to actively avoid it. Um, as far as my job goes, I just sit in front of a computer in an office all day, every day. I work in logistics. I don't, you know, I couldn't be a tradesman. I wouldn't last five minutes. So, yeah, that's what we're up against. So when I do stuff, I like to make it as easy as possible. So what we're going to be doing is, I've got myself a fridge. I'm going to be making a fermentation fridge, fermentation chamber, whatever. So here it is down here. There it is there. So it's thirty pound. I got it for on Gumtree second hand. Um, all I've really done is give it a good clean inside. I pulled off all the stuff in the door for the milk and the eggs, all that stuff. So um, yeah, it works as well. So so yeah. Um, what I've got then is I've got a heater. Got this on Amazon for. 15 pounds, something like that, 14 pounds. It's 45 watts. Um, the, only elect the only electrical things I can do is to wire a plug, which is just as well because there's no bloody plug on this. So that's that. And then the reason why I decided to do this, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The reason why I've decided to do it now is because I found. Um, there's it there. Found this. A couple of uh, the people I subscribe to have reviewed this, which is the Inkbird 308. It was Tipsy Knitter and it was Jesher Homebrew. And they both did a review of it on the same night. So I kind of took that as fate. Because what always put me off, I've always wanted to do a fermentation fridge, but what's put me off is trying to wire up that STC 1000. This, this is already wired up. Look, I mean. Even an idiot like me could do this. You know, you plug it into the wall, there's your temperature probe, heating goes in there, cooling goes in there. Piece of piss, isn't it? We'll find out if it is very soon. That's phase one complete. So the heater's in. Um it was fairly difficult getting those in. The secret is to make the hole first and then transcrew them in. Yeah. Classic me. So yeah, the lead's basically going out the back there. There's a little bit of a... Um, that must be for when you defrost the fridge or anything like that. Bit of ice. It slides down there into a tray at the back. It comes out the back and there's the new plug I've wired in. Uh, the hard bit was actually finding a plug. Because all the ones we have downstairs are all kind of sealed one piece plugs. Which is a bit shit. But um, yeah. Finally got there in the end and that only took... Ooh. <laughs> 40 minutes! Dear God, 40 minutes to do that. Mm. Okay, I've removed the shelf and i put in that little bit of wood. Drilled a few holes in it, a la New to Home Road to Home. Um, I couldn't find anything other than sort of chipboard stuff. Got a load of wood sitting on the other side of the shed, but um, I don't have anything that size. So, I'm not convinced it's going to hold. So what I've done is, I've got a fermenter here. And I filled it up to about 20 litres. That's what the normal, that's normally what the wort will be. So I'm going to um, put it in here and see what happens. So stand back and watch a cross when I work. <laughs> this could get messy. God help us. Should I put the lid on? That's Bowen. Maybe I could put like a little something there to hold it up. An extra bit of wood, God knows I've got enough. But then, um, yeah, it's not the worst I've seen. So I might put a bit of paint on that as well, a bit of white gloss. 
yeah so next thing to do is just to test it okay I've drilled a hole in the side for the temperature probe to go through and I don't know whether it's luck or just stupidity but look at that look how close that is to the edge my god that's luck but that's how easily things can go wrong for me okay there's the cooling that just went on so the bottom one is the temperature I wanted at, and the top one is the temperature it's at now, so it works. Okay, there's the heating on, so it works. I know that it works, which is good. Um, so that's it all finished, um, other than a little bit of painting and maybe some kind of support. But that's it, um, it didn't take too long either, it wasn't too difficult. I don't think it took too long, hang on. <laughs> Let's not go into how long it took. Okay, yeah. so uh, that's me finished now. I don't really have any other homebrew stuff to talk about. I haven't done anything at all. Got nothing on. I'm hoping to do a brew on Friday of this week. This is Wednesday today. This is actually a Wednesday I'm doing this. Um, but I've just had so much to do around the house and in the garage as well too. Um, because I couldn't get the fridge in the house as yet anyway. The long term plan is to sneak it in somehow. But for the meantime it comes out here, but um, when I put this garage up, I just made a concrete floor. I'll actually show you. And it was just a bare it was just bare concrete. Um so I'm kind of in the middle of painting it. And because of the weather, it's been raining very heavy every now and again. I can't take everything out and paint it all at the same time, so I have to kind of do it in stages. But it's just really to keep the dust down. Because um I used to have I used to do I've got a couple of bikes there. I used to have a turbo trainer. I used to do it in here, but um, the dust was so thick that I couldn't um, couldn't actually breathe properly because it was all in the air. So yeah, and then the rest is just to get the house sorted out. You can see we've this is the waste project by the way. It's kind of the uh, got all the tarmac and done. I've got a little potty area around the back for the tent up for the kids as well. So yeah, just getting everything ready for the summer and. Yeah, summer's here, so yeah, that's us. So that's it. I'll uh, I've nothing to toast you with, so I'll not worry about it. But um, happy homebrew Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.